War Chief, I do not intend to question your motives, but why are we going this way? Hmm. We seem to be heading away from the enemy and their settlements. I do not understand. The humans and their allies believe us to be mindless brutes. I intend to exploit that fact. Even now they sit in their walled castles and townships, expecting us to throw ourselves at their defenses with impunity. Instead, we will be doing exactly the opposite. Gaze upon the horizon, Ren, and behold the Thoridan Wall. This line of fortification spreads across hundreds of miles and is said to have never been reached. I have no intention of sacrificing our warriors to break through it. But why didn't we just go around the mountains, or use our ships to bypass the mainland? Because, Mei, they would be expecting us to try that as well. And, uh, if we reach the Northlands through the mountains, we can cut off the elven supplies that the humans will desperately need. You speak wisely, War Chief. Chief, I bring important news from Sarvan. We could not break the gates of Ironforge. None of our weapons had any effect. We have failed you, War Chief, and will accept whatever punishment you deem necessary. Hmm. Maintain the siege and let them starve. Send the rider with my words to Verog. The Burning Blade and the Bleeding Hollow clans will remain in Cosmodon to suppress any attempts to sabotage our armies and supplies. And you, Etric, will join my army here in Lordaeron. By your will, War Chief. Pick up the pace, warriors. We must get through these peaks as fast as possible. One more week of marching, and we'll be reaching the borders of Quatalas. Though I be trying my best to keep myself composed, the prospect of revenge and justice be making my axes mighty restless. And as I promised, your people shall have their vengeance, mighty Zul'jin. But before we can invade the elven lands, we must first strengthen our position here. My scouts have informed us that the Alliance forces are gathering near the Daramir Lake. I have ordered the Storm Reaver and the Twilight's Hammer clans to head up to the riverbed. Gul'dan and Cho'gal will distract the Alliance while Maim and the Blacktooth Green Clan attack Tyr's hand. That leaves Stratholme, the jewel in the north and Lord Ron's second largest city. While it stands, it will be impossible to launch an assault on Quel'Thalas. There'll be many troll hideout in the forest, between these mountain and Stratholm. If we find them, they will be needing little convincing to join the horde. Excellent. Have no doubt, Sultan. We will liberate your homeland and slaughter those who wronged you. So the rumors are true! The troll leader did ally himself with the foreign beasts! We should warn the Thain!
War Chief, I was told that you wanted to see me. Who talked? Travel north ahead of us to Daramere Lake. Gul'dan and his clan are establishing a base camp on its shores as we speak. I want you to monitor his activities. It will be done, War Chief. Gul'dan and his lackeys shall obey your commands under my watch. Zul'jin, I've been informed that there is a troll pack that has just entered our camp after hearing that you've accompanied us. They're asking for an audience. Great Chieftain Zul'jan, we be from the Wilted Bark tribe. We bring word from our kin that be fighting the dwarf clans in these valleys. We heard that you gained a mighty ally that could help us win this war. Greetings, mighty sons of the Wilted Bark. What you heard be true. With the Horde at our backs, we will be bringing ruin to all who have wronged us. The dwarves of these lands included. Praise the Loa! Your arrival be timely, man. The bearded vermin been gaining the upper hand as of late. We've been feeling the touch of Boswandi for months now. Gaining the upper hand, eh? I believe it be time to shake things up a little then. What you say? Ready for a little retribution? The Zulaman! For the Horde! For the Zulaman! For the Horde! 